Hello everyone, welcome back to Road Rage. On today's video, I am going to explain to you, actually more so demonstrate to you, why you shouldn't use fairy liquid or any dishwash soap on your pride and joy. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is following my recent snow foam videos, I've noticed there's a few of you in the comments who have just said, hey, don't use snow foam, just use dishwash soap. We are gonna simply wax this Toyota RAV4's lovely silver bonnet, and then I'm gonna fill up my wash bucket with this dishwash soap, and then I'm gonna shampoo half the bonnet with this, and we are gonna see what happens. Okay, so the RAV4's bonnet is nice and clean and it is ready to have the wax applied to it. Now, it doesn't really matter what wax I use because this is a demonstration video, but because we're here, we are using Meguiar's DA Microfiber Finishing Wax. This is a polymer-based wax, so it's really, really good. And the nice thing about it is you don't have to leave it to haze. You just apply it and then wipe it off. Literally, wax on, wax off. Isn't that great? And we're gonna be applying it with a DA with this white Hexlogic um, finishing pad because it's quick and easy. So uh, I say we crack on and get this bonnet waxed. Let's do this. comes off lovely. You don't even have to apply any pressure. It just glides off and leaves no residue behind or any dry bits. Just turn the cloth over, final buff. It's not grabby at all, this wax. So lovely to work with. This video isn't even about this wax, but I'm just really impressed. <laughs> It's such an easy to use wax. It smells really nice as well. It smells like cherries. And that's always fun. Makes the experience nicer, you know? That is a waxed Toyota RAV4 bonnet. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray some water on this bonnet to show you the water behavior of this wax, uh, just really to demonstrate it working because it's very relevant for this test. So here we go. As you can see, that is peeding very nicely. Look at that. Very impressed with that. So as you can see, the wax is working really well and uh, that's some really nice beading, I'm impressed. But unfortunately now it's crunch time. I hate doing this, but in the name of science, we have to do it. So uh, yeah, let's go get the fairy liquid, put it in the bucket and um, see what happens. So we have our fairy liquid. Can't believe I'm doing this. Um, it's actually not the brand Fairy Liquid. It's a well-known supermarket brand that begins in S. So, cheers. <clears throat> right, we're gonna get the jet wash out. We're gonna up the pressure just so we can get the suds really going. Cause you know, that's really important. Wow, look at the suds. Okay, I would say that is good to go, really. So let's, um, let's get the wash mat and uh, wash the bonnet and see what happens. All right, we have our wash mat. Let's dunk it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm only going to wash half the bonnet so we have a good 50-50. Right, the moment of truth. We're gonna rinse this bonnet and see what happens. Let's do this. It 
So that fairy liquid has pretty much destroyed the wax that was on this bonnet. And you can clearly see, look at that. See how this is now sheeting? And then you've got lovely beads on this side. So that's really destroyed the wax. So look, here's the thing. If you want to strip the wax off your car and all you have is fairy liquid as a shampoo, then yeah, go for it. It's, I, I don't think it's going to damage the paintwork as such, but I, I can't really think of any other scenario where you would want to use dishwash soap because it destroys any protection on your car. Okay, so that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Look, if you are about to wash your car with dishwash soap, then stop, okay? Just stop. Uh, go and get some shampoo from Halfords, literally, you know, three or four pounds. Um, you can even, you can get car shampoo in B&M anywhere, like Tesco's, any supermarket, you can get a car wash shampoo and it's gonna be better than using dishwash soap. Just, if you care about your car, don't go anywhere near it because as you can see here, it's just destroyed the wax you know? So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You know the drill. And um, yeah, I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you guys.